Hello guys, my name is Steve and I'm a liquid-based support engineer and today we're going to cover two basic mechanisms that liquid-based uses to track, version and deploy changes to your database. These are change logs and tracking tables. Change log files are the root of all changes that occur with liquid-based because they are used to explicitly list database changes in order. As you can see, the change log file contains change set tags which are uniquely identified by the combination of an author and ID attribute. When you run liquid-based update, it reads the change set in order and checks each one against the database change log tracking table to see if the changes, change set had already been run. We'll talk about this table in a minute. You can find a list of change set tags available in the change set tag topic in the following liquid-based knowledge base. There are several available attributes and subtags which can be used in a change log table. Now, while this example is in an XML format, change logs can also come in a YAML, JSON, and SQL formats. Another mechanism that Liquibase uses internally to track version and deploy databases changes are tracking tables. There are two types of tables: database change log and database change log lock tables. The database change log table allows Liquibase to track which changes have or have not been deployed. As you can see, after we ran the Liquibase update command, the table tracks each change set as a row, which are identified by a combination of ID, author, and file name, along with other columns. There is also no primary key on this table. This is to avoid any database specific restriction on key lengths. Also, if your database does not already contain a database change log table, Liquibase will create it for you after you run the update command. The second table is the database change log lock table, which allows Liquibase to prevent conflicts from different callers updates. Database change log lock tables ensure that only one instance of Liquibase is running at a time and that no one else can make changes to the, to the same database instance while you are. Thank you for watching.